red as hell. I was really about to just pass out. Just... The first like couple, of that, there was one time my mom was ordering Subway and she went and brought me up, and I was like so stoned. I was like, you know what? Subway sounds really. And my eyes are red as hell. I was really about to just pass out and just go to bed and just take a good cat nap all the way throughout the night until the next day and everything about like 5 p.m. And she's ordering dinner and everything. I'm like, fuck it. I'm hungry. And then I can go to bed because that'll really put me out. So got a whole ass subway and my eyes are just lit up. Fiery red. Red as the devil's dick as fucking Pineapple Express would say. But no, sure as hell. There's an old video on one of her old phones sitting around of me just sitting there smashing a freaking Subway sandwich stoned as fuck after telling her what I wanted and coming upstairs to get it. Yeah. And she took the video of she, she, Oh, and I sat there and I lit her too. I knew I was caught up. I looked I looked at I was like, I just want my Subway, bitch. Like, it's just like... Did you, she show it to you later? Like, this is why you're grounded. <laughs> Still stuck out my window. <laughs> or did you just gaslight your mom? Like, ah, oh, I don't know. What do you? What's weed? What is weed, mom? No, and, well, no. She looked at me too. Why she was recording it? I didn't know they were recording it. Her boyfriend was recording it. And her, so she's just like, look at him. He's fucking high. And I'm like, yeah. Honestly, you're right. I said, no, dude, I'm not gonna. I know my eyes are red as shit. I'm. I'm and, like, I looked back on this video maybe about fucking 45 Bro, years later. That's where you fucked up. I, I don't even see it fucking up. I wanted you that never did n- You never say you did, dude. I had to. When I was a kid, at least a teenager. I was I was relentless. So was I. That's, where I. that's what I mean, though. Like, you never, ever say, yeah, I did it. As yeah. a teenager, you have, you, you have that card. You, you, you always have the card to defend yourself. But, like, sometimes they just get so over your shit. You just got to admit no, to it. man. Like, I, you just got to like I did it. No. I'm dude. sorry. My mom would walk that. into the room, dude. I did. I shit you not. She'd walk in there and be like. I'd be bong in hand. Yeah. Taking a rip. Oh, yeah. And she'd be like, you're smoking weed in here. What the fuck? And no. be all mad. Hold on. And be all mad. It's tobacco. And, and i just look at her and be like, oh, no, I'm not. Nope. nope. Dude, I would Hell deny. No. It. Well, I, why would I? Why would I be doing that? I would deny it to the grave. Dude. You're fucking dead. Oh, no. like, I would dead. take it to the I'd, grave. I'd, with I'd me. Kill, if I if you were my kid, but I'd it kill turned, you. Dude, it, tur- it turned into this situation where my dad uh, would literally shit you not, bro. So like, I would do these things like where my homies would all come over and and, and smoke at night, and my yeah. mom didn't even know I really smoked, but she knew like I like had my friends, but my parents would sleep so so hard, and I had like. It wasn't like we lived in a house, but we lived in an apartment. And I, Oh, okay. Yeah, we lived in a fucking apartment oh. upstairs. So we were on the second floor. Oh. And so, like, for oh. my friends to come over, they had to, like, come up, like, the fucking stone stairs and shake the entire... Th- like, you could hear when people were coming and going. Bro. Well, throughout the whole apartment. It's, yeah, everybody, it's, everything my, is connected. Like, my, my neighbors knew I was having people over. My parents might not have. But I was, Jesus. Yeah. And so, like, I would literally just fucking invite my homies over and be like, you come through. Right. And... This would normally happen too, like a lot of the time, like when my parents were like fucking awake, you know, I would have friends over. Like it'd be no. cool that like a couple homies would come over. It's chill. But we wouldn't really smoke, you know, that wasn't really like cool to smoke at the crib. Like, my mom would get pissed about it. Of course. She knew what we would be doing just out of the house, you know. Wow. And so we, but they'd come over to smoke and we'd just smoke in my bathroom. Like, fuck yeah. it, you know. <laughs> it was like, we were just chill. And so my mom would get super fucking pissed about it. And it was funny because like we were like kind of confused about what to do until one day my dad like, Waits for me to go, like, calm my mom down and is like, or I'm like, hold up, guys, I'm going to go talk to my mom real quick. Because my mom's like, Casey, like, yelling at me, dude. <laughs> fucking, I can hear from the other room. I'm just like, oh, fuck, you know, let me go ahead and put out the yeah. fire real quick. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, like, and I should you not, dude, I come back after talking to my mom for like a minute. Oh, sorry. After like a minute or two, this table sucks. Uh, <laughs> and my friends are like, dude, you will not believe what just happened. I'm like, what mm. the fuck? Like, dude, your dad just came in here <laughs> and ripped the rest of the fucking bowl, held it in, ghosted it, and didn't say a fucking word other than don't tell Casey. And I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, you're fucking lying. And my dad's <laughs> never smoked weed in front of me ever in my life at this point. I'm like, I'm like 18 years old, dude. Like, yeah. And we live in Idaho, so like, 
I'm, I'm not. I don't even think at this point. I don't think I'm 18. I think I'm 17. Yeah. You know, so I, like my Some, dad. Somewhere around there, I bet. Yeah. You know, and it gets it gets like that. And dude, I shit you. My dad did this for like six months. Oh yeah. You come me. in, rip your weed, walk the fuck out. No. Hide it from me, bro. Oh, uh, well, that too. It was with it, with my friends, though. Uh, my yeah. friends would come over. And he'd, smoke with the and he'd be like, he'd wait for me to leave. Oh, my God. And go talk to my mom because she, she would know that we're all smoking weed and she'd be chewing my ass. I'd be so dead. And then my I'd dad. So and then I'd come in and I was like, did my dad come in here again? And be like, yep, and he ripped the whole fucking bowl. And the, and, oh, my God. Uh, Six months. Bro. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Six if, months. If, if, if my friends were in on that and, and, and they were bro, just. They weren't even me. in on it. They were just in pure shock because they're both all 17 years old. They're like, dude, why is he hiding from you? Like, he's just supposed oh, to be in front well, of us and not in front of you. All 17, that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I know. But it was funny because he's like, Getting, uh, we're all, they're all smoking in front of him. Oh, know? always. I'd always be. I'd and be, I'm not, I'm not allowed I, to, you know, like that was the funny part. He wouldn't smoke in front of me. He would smoke in, with my friends. Well, that's just for respect. You gotta, you gotta wait till you're 18. Did he yeah, smoke with stop, you at 18? Stop bumming off our weed, fool. <laughs> so like, you want to, you want to know like the funniest shit though? Like I was chilling with the homeboy oh, just fuck and, that and, too. and he actually, he actually just came back into town and that's who I came and went and saw all my old smoke spots with, but me and him in his closet, he had a stand up master closet, whole nine yards, sexy bitch, pole across the whole nine yards. I went and I strung up a fucking grow light and tin foiled the walls, tin foiled the shelving. I got two plants growing baby wise. And I just continued cycling two plants throughout the whole entire cycle. And two big boys, two mediums, two kind of a little bit smaller mediums and a small ones. And I just continued through a seven-month cycle, straining out multiple plants and just weaning off to the two plants in the center of the room of the closet. So we grew a bunch of weed out of that motherfucker. But one time, his dad comes up and he just sees a bunch of weed. Grabs one plant, takes it downstairs to his basement window, and just declares it his. This is mine. This, this, this is my plant. And I was so booty took it because it was towards the end. It was my um, uh, it was my uh, Mexican mindfuck strain. It was a it was a big bitch. This plant probably came out probably about um, uh, like here off the ground from the bucket and everything. I'd say, and that's. Me sitting down right here, that's probably about four feet, maybe four and a half, maybe five feet, depending on depending on where you're going right here. It was a it was a big plant. I had it hydro bucketed and everything and just cycling and came out to be beautiful. He was like, Nope. Just taking just taking this. Weaned all the, he he dumped it, weaned all the hydro out of it. He knew how to grow. He, right. We jacked all of his shatter out the fucking shit. So one day he was just like, Fuck it, I'm gonna go make this out in the shatter at work. And took it straight out from under our hips right before it budded. Let it bud, just harvest the shit, smoke the fuck out of it, and we never saw none of it. What's the biggest yield you've gotten on a plant? So off that plant, probably the plant the, that you grew. The the one that I grew and I took care of for the majority of it, that hydro bucket and everything that I had set up for that specific strain was like Every single woven bead was like literally sat there and like, like by hand and their little hydro guana beads and everything, super nutrient um, uh, release beads. And you clay? gotta, yes, the clay, clay guanas. Yeah, yeah. But they do have a good um, uh, potency for um, uh, just soilage in general whenever it comes down to it. Oh, that one's weird. Mm-hmm.